the following game is rated M by the SRB. Greetings there, ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome you to the finale of Silent Hill. Oh yes, it is that time where we need to figure out what the hell is going on. So, a little bit about the scene that was in this room just in the last episode. Apparently, Kaufman and Dahlia were trying to summon a part that a um, that that uh, this individual was split into apparently two a I guess essentially a good half and a bad half and the good half was sent away they lost the good half and they needed both of them to basically get the full draw the power of this individual its full power so the uh, the remain was kept alive and suffered to call this good half back to Silent Hill now this sounds very somewhat familiar where basically well Cheryl Cheryl seems to be called back to Silent Hill so could Cheryl be this actual person? Well, I guess we'll find out a little bit more as we continue. I don't know. This sto this story is like a little eh, but um, again, I'm gonna go over it a little bit better in a bonus episode and compare it to the actual movie, which I'd say reflects it somewhat okay. But we come into this room, and this room looks somewhat normal. We have cards scattered all over the floor. And nothing unusual over there. That spectrum is a butterflies and moths hanging on the wall. Interesting. Nothing about the bed. We got childish drawings scattered all over the floor. And a girl clothing is hanging from the wall. Six, maybe seven. Must be around that age. Hmm, kind of like Cheryl. No stuff is any use? How do you know that, Harry? Old fairy tales, picture books of animals and plants on the shelf. Okay. Well, anyway, we got a save point here, so we're going to save up for a moment. Okay, so. There's this door. It's locked, of course. And thou possess, thou possess them to guard thy spirit, invoke five rites, unveil thy fate. Okay, so looks like we got things to place in there, and well, luckily, hopefully, we got all five items that we need. We got the element of element, element, animate. Uh, I can't even say that. Animate. Uh, thing of Solomon, the crest of Mercury. The Ankh, the Dagger of Melchior, and the Disc of Ouroboros. So let's start with the Disc of Ouroboros. Oop. And then we will go with the Dagger of Melchior. And then the Ankh. And then the Crest of Mercury. And then finally the Amulet of Salomon. And there we go. Open. Let's check it out. Come. Come along. No. No. I don't want to. Do what Mommy tells you now. Just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy, and it's for your own good, too. Oh, but Mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why 
Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? I'm not 100% sure what all this means. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of um, research. But basically, that was literally probably right before um, Alessa got basically charred basically to death. And I might have already... I said maybe like, you know, the individual in there. I don't know if I probably probably already like said that it's Alessa. So the charred individual is Alessa basically. I can go back outside, and now I can do that. And I guess it makes sense if I didn't save. Anyway, so half of Alessa stayed behind, charred, and went through rigorous hell for the other half that was basically sent away, apparently on the side of the road where Harry picked up and his wife, and, well, for seven years, was trying to draw, that was trying to draw, draw back to Silent Hill. And, well, eventually they did actually get, Cheryl did actually get back to Silent Hill, and, well, we still don't know what exactly happened to her. So there's some jam, some peanut butter and jammed doors. So I wonder if down here would uh, lead to any answers. I'm having a feeling that we're going to need something really big and beefy to tackle on what's down here. So let's see. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. In spite of the lost soul returning at last. Just a little longer and all would have been for naught. It's all because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Even though Alessa has been stopped. His little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> Freeze! What in the devil's name? Dolly. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times, restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. Why? Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse. in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare, waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. 
Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise. My daughter will be the mother of God. Oh my. Nobody uses me. You won't get away with this. You're the wizard. We don't need you. What do you think you can accomplish by coming here? My, aren't we getting cocky? Bet you can't see this. I thought I got rid of that. All I had to do was plant it somewhere for you to find. You all well. It kept you busy. Ha! You're easy. And there's more where this came from. Stop it! Slow motion, catch a bottle throw. Huh? What the? Is that supposed to happen? Uh, yeah. Alrighty, so... What is that, exactly? So that is quote-unquote, the god they're actually talking about. Ouch. And he attacks with a punch, let's just say. Uh, it's actually Incubus. That's what the actual name of the boss is called. So he is right there, and I suggest you just keep on firing. Well, just wanna... When you hear the crack of lightning, you try to avoid it. You want to watch your health, definitely. Just keep on hitting him with the rifle. Until he's ready to go. And then just hopefully not get hit. Which I'm doing a terrible job at. Yeah, let's just use it. I have plenty of them. Why not? Just keep on hitting him with the rifle. And if you run out of rifle ammo, just... Well, I don't know, I did this guy, like, once before and I didn't get hit at all. I don't know, you just keep on wailing him at him. Wow, okay, I'm just... There we go. Holy cow, my... 
hit again. Just keep on wailing at him. We'll build it on eventually. Just pretty much. Oh, lordy, man. Anyway, this is the quote unquote god that they're. It's kind of thin around the waist, I have to say. And just keep on hitting him with the rifle, and he'll go down eventually. Yeah, might as well just tank the hits. Just make sure he. Just make sure you don't die. That's 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 the key thing. Make sure your health is pretty high. 